So you think you know the real Flippy Dog in Bottom, eh? Well, think again. Flippy's spineless. Why won't he answer the tough questions? Why has the value of the jelly bean as currency decreased in the last couple of years, during his term? And what about the closure of Toontown? How come we never got a reason from old Flippy himself as to why it went under? And what about the discovered photograph of Flippy making a deal with the Cogs? Check out this exclusive video of Flippy committing a crime during his college years. Can't see it well? Hold on a second, let me turn on the HD. As you can clearly see here, Flippy is harming one of our lovely Toon Cats. What a monster! Do you really want this person as your Toon Council President? Slappy Wilhelm has another idea. Slappy plans to improve the Toon Resistance support and put more beans in a ridding Toon Town of cards. Something that Flippy was unable to do all ten years of his presidency. Alright, I've just spitballed here, but why don't we just take the cogs and push them somewhere else? Now, Slappy actually is native to Toontown. Being born and raised in the colorful canvas district since he was just a 15 lapper. On the flip side, Mr. Doggenbottom has been rumored to be born in Loontown. <laughs> not even a true Toontownian like Slappy here. Slappy also has plans to give better equality with noobs and noobs, and reduce the inflation of cream pies. With Flippy, you're playing the waiting game. With Mr. Slappy Wilhelm, you're opening the doors to the future right when he enters Toon Hall. I'm Slappy Wilhelm, and I approve this message.